Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 and we're actually finally, finally in the stages where I'm now about to germinate my seeds. For all you new subscribers, I just wanted to kind of show this, showcase how I go about germinating seeds. It's going to be a super quick video unless I go ahead and mumble on for a few minutes. So I apologize about that. But my name is Michael. I'm an indoor grower. I do primarily hydroponics in the summertime. I enjoy doing outdoor grows, but I specialize in indoor hydroponic growing. Now, get right to the point. This is my super sprouter seeding heat mat, okay? Uh, seeds germinate much faster and better when they're being heated, just like the earth's ground, just like the, <laughs> just like the ground outside, when it's heated up, the actual seed, just like a child inside a womb, when it's nice and warm, it sprouts, gets, you know, it grows, it develops. Now, pretty simple, heating mat heats up these little trays, here are my seeds, I get majority of my seeds from High, uh, high Mowing, which uh, they have a lot of uh, large organic selection of seeds. And right now I'm going to be planting these green towers, beautiful piece, beautiful lettuce. I've grown them already before. Uh, some of this magenta lettuce. It's like I think it's like the magenta lettuce I bought last year. So hopefully these seeds are still good. Hopefully, um, but it's like this beautiful kind of buttery lettuce that's kind of with a with a red look to it. Absolutely phenomenal, and the taste is really nice too. But my favorite is these um, is the green towers. And I'm going to be doing some Genovese basil. I'm a huge basil fanatic. You could do a ton of stuff in the, with basil, especially in the winter times. Uh, I enjoy, you know, my wife, well, not me, uh, some pesto with, I mean, and if you've never grown basil, it literally grows like a weed. And in, what I'm referencing is it will just keep growing and growing and growing. I literally have to keep chopping it, chopping it down and throwing it out because there's an overwhelming amount of basil. And since we're doing this, I'm also going to show you guys in the, in the upcoming series on how I go about, um, how I go about cloning basil, which is something that I've been able to do. And what that means is literally I will have one basil plant. Okay, I, a certain way I take off a branch off of the uh, current basil plant and then I plant it in a certain way and it actually develops a brand new plant. So you could literally replicate without, without having to germinate new seeds or plant new seeds, but you are planting the stem of a previous plant. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, very simple. These little... Uh, these little trays right here, these little, these are glass. They have a little bit of nice filtered water in there. And all I do is literally this. And there's one small method that I always tell people on what I do. So with this, I just dump a couple of seeds out. And I mean, honestly, there's so many seeds that come in this thing that feel free to just kind of go nuts. And also, not every single seed will germinate. So we probably have like 20 seeds, maybe like 30 now and also all my top tiers only handle uh, a total of 27 plants so uh, I end up throwing a lot of seed out but listen this is a this is a hobby you know I take this as a hobby this isn't like I'm using this to survive though individuals that might not have immediate supply to food and they feel that they could sustain which is very hard sustain a hydroponic grow in a certain survival situation due to the fact that you need electricity for light as well as a source of water to maintain in your reservoirs you know feel free to do that this you know potentially with a small investment of just seeds and a small setup you're able to actually grow clean food no pesticide you are of course of course using a fertilizer to feed the plants though i have managed to maybe even a little bit of fertilizer added to just to just kind of get the grow process moving and then I haven't used uh, any you know food for the plant though you will notice that there's a decrease a significant decrease in the rapid growth in addition to that you might not get as big of a yield so but that's all so we could talk about that as we go through this process but here it is so basically you'll notice that these seeds are actually floating okay one of my key ingredients that I tell people to do is this, and this is what I learned from somebody. You tap these seeds, okay? You just keep tapping these seeds just like that. 
until majority of them, if not all of them, fall to the bottom. Now, a lot of times a seed, if it does not want to fall to the bottom, that literally will mean there might not be anything inside. Literally, it might be a nut with no shell. I mean, with a nut with no inside. But as you can see now, they're not floating. They're literally at the bottom. And I will do that the same for both of these too. Sometimes I take one tray and I mix a variety of lettuce inside because it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to be planting all of them, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of more like a, a nice look. You kind of want to you kind of want to indicate, okay, the green towers are going upstairs into reservoir A, whatever it is. But me, I can just put them across anything. It doesn't even matter. So that's it. And uh, basically, the next step is got some of these little wet containers. You want to cover these so that light does not hit the inside of this area during the germination process. You could of course lift it up, you could look at it. And I'll take you guys through the next like uh, 48 hours, so in like in, in about a day and a half to two days, I will, uh, I'll do an another video and show you what these look like. And it's so crazy, you guys won't believe the basil, when I initially started growing, uh, like maybe two years ago, uh, and you'll see, it's really interesting, the basil seeds are just regular black seeds. But what happens is actually, let me go ahead and open them real quick and show you. I'm not sure if actually it's an immediate effect or not because uh, it's a very interesting effect. Sorry about the moving camera. Let me actually put it down for one second. And we're going to see what happens because the basil seeds, don't give me a thumbs down for this. I love you guys. <laughs> All right, check this out. So in here, the basil seeds are actually like black. But what happens is the outer coating, I'm not sure if it happens immediately or it happens in like a 24 hour time frame. They get this like crazy little jelly around the perimeter of the seed. It's unbelievable. Actually, I think it happens within like a 24 hour period of time. And, and I'll show you guys this tomorrow, maybe the next day, I used to throw them out for the first several times that I tried to grow. You can actually almost see, they, it's like they take on water, it's really interesting. But the, the, but the jelly-like like jelly -like substance around them is unexplanatory to me. Um, if you know anything about it, leave me a comment down below. Also, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that bell, guys, for anybody that's interested in receiving updates every single time I post a video. Now I know this is a it's a bit more of a point of view video which I do a lot of but I'm I'm gonna be doing a lot more fun things too where you can see me a lot more but basically this is what I did you know I did that for this one I did that for this one okay we drop the seeds we let them sink to the bottom and I'll do the same thing for this uh, for the magenta lettuce and now we have multi towers waiting to go now, as I mentioned, you want to cover them from light. I got these little uh, from a Chinese restaurant. After you're done eating, a lot of times you get these, you know, decent little plastic things. Boom. Covered. Okay. Covered. Now I'm just going to do one more. The heat mat gets nice and warm. Starts to heat up those seeds. Get everything moving. And that's it. A couple of days, you'll see a whole little tail growing from the seeds. And that's the seed germinating. And then I'm going to run you through the process on how to put them into the growing medium and how to go step by step in the growing process. And that's it. It's easy as that. You guys saw the new setup downstairs. You guys saw it. Let's take a look at outside. Man, it's scary out there. It's winter time. And this is exactly when, look at that, all the leaves are gone. But the sky is beautiful today. That's what I love. And this is exactly the time that I start really enjoying growing inside. I don't know what about I don't know what it is about it, but at this time around November, December, January, February, March, I grow hard. Everything that I have here, guys, is listed down below. Just hit show more and you'll see the entire list of all the products that I use to maintain my grow, just not the apples. So you, you could find the, uh, the, the sprouter mat, you could find the lights, the pump, everything that you need to get started is listed down below. Now I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Stay with me. 
There are some amazing archived videos, 100 plus videos that are listed in the playlist down below as well. Make sure to check those out to continue learning on how to grow indoors. Um, this is Mike from Grow Indoors 365. I'm signing off. I will see you guys literally in the next one to two days for the next update on what's going on with these seeds. Thanks for watching, guys.